Hello and welcome my name is Amul and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video I am going to show you how to install Moodle on web hosting server using cPanel. So this is Namecheap's server and as long as you are using the cPanel irrespective of any service provider the interface is going to be the same and the process is going to be the same. So there are a few things you want to make sure you got latest PHP set as a default on your server. So go ahead and look for select PHP version and then select PHP 7.3 that's recommended. Okay. You also want to make sure you got PDO MySQL enabled and my 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 SQLI is also enabled. These are two extensions that are used mostly by these open source CMSs out there to connect with databases. Uh, there is one more thing you want to make sure in case if you need to add any domain to this uh, server or hosting account go ahead and look for add on domains and type in your domain name with extension and hit add domain if this domain is with name shape itself then it will be auto ver auto verified if it's with some other domain registrar then you'll have to follow the instruction on the next page and verify your domain it's going to be very simple and it will take just five minutes once you've got your domain set up added as an add add-on you can go ahead and use that domain so let's go ahead and install this Moodle which is mostly used by teachers and educators across the globe and students, learners. So let's go ahead and install it. So to do so you simply go ahead and click on this Softculus apps installer. That's first option you can go ahead and install Moodle. The other one is you can go ahead and scroll down. Look for Moodle over here. If it's not available in here you can go under categories and look for education you can see educational just click on it and this will lend you to this educational open source packages that you can install right away so we are going to install Moodle which is available here and here so go ahead and click on it so you can see this is 3.9 which is the latest version of Moodle you can go ahead and have a look at the demo. To install it simply click on this install now. This pre-selected this the latest version of Moodle then it also selected the protocol with S as in security HTTPS. Now to you go ahead and select your domain name data directory this is where it's going to keep the data. So I'm going to say MD data mo just keep it like Moodle. Moodle data this is cron job period so every 20 minutes it's going to run the job cron job which is very less I'm going to say 60. Um, site name is going to be my just learning uh, this is going to be an instruction whatever so learn whatever makes you happy that's going to be a description admin name always go with a very unique admin name okay so Moodle admin name this is very easy to guess so I would never go with this uh, such username go ahead and keep somewhere else and then type in the password make sure your password scores above 85 so I've got your password and username the admin username first name is going to be whatever your name is last name so I'm going to say tube you need to give it an a working email account address so that whenever you need to reset password you can use it yeah, select a language advanced go ahead and change the database name if you wish to a uh, table prefix can be also changed if you want to uh, when you want the backup to take place once a week is going to be enough lot of people if you are going to work like every day then you need to make it once a day once a week is enough now you also want to give it a working email account address over here as well because whenever there is a backup it's going to notify you and also going to send all the installation detail to this email address before you hit install make sure you got everything all right so go ahead and recheck everything make sure you've got your password and admin 
email saved somewhere now hit install easy process is going to take okay cron minutes is wrong uh, below 60 okay so you see man that's very specific to this model now go ahead and recheck everything again and then hit install so your cron job must be performed before like within an hour it shouldn't go beyond an hour okay so you, they keep making changes to their software very frequently now this package has been installed Moodle congratulations now you own this Moodle you can go ahead and teach the world whatever you want but before you start doing that make sure you got everything working so go ahead and just open this in a new tab uh, because this SSL is being installed it's not yet activated it's not active so this Google Chrome thing is very specific about this so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this Firefox so Firefox is here just trying to load this Moodle thing learning hub and you got it going here in just a moment and to access it we need to add just admin and here we are this is Moodle and it looks awesome very simple but it's fast it is fast um, okay to log in you simply go to admin which is very easy to remember but it's not secure so Moodle admin type in the password and you will have access to the dashboard admin dashboard okay guys so this is learning hub new redis default uh, serializer save it use for testing here we are this is dashboard area you can go ahead and start using it it's very simple you've got calendar site home dashboard content bank site administration you can go ahead and check so many things right badge analytics add your courses grade plugins are available here um, you can customize your appearance of this website server reports development and these are for hmm awesome this really has very good feature so and it's freely available so that's it for this video if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap thanks again bye for now don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well